do the guys today will be looking at Shane Lee. Shane Lee is a couple of calculus, differential calculus to be precise. So we will be, we'll be looking at calculus. Calculus has two different branches. Um, it is divided into two major branches and that is differential calculus and integral calculus. Differential calculus is where we are going to today and it is also and otherwise known as um, the dy dx which is majorly what most people know. Then the other one is integral calculus which is integration, integral dx. We have many methods of solving calculus questions and um, few of these methods will be listed here. We have product rule, we have quotient rule and the, our major rule for today which is Shane rule. Then uh, we also have the first principle method for solving calculus. Like I said earlier, we will be focusing on Shane rule today. And Shane rule is one of the best methods of solving calculus, especially for some kind of questions. So let's go and solve. It will be very important for us to revise the formula for um, uh, differentiation first, and that is, let's take for example if you have y equals to ax raised to power n, then the y dx will give us a n x raised to power n minus 1. That is the general formula for it. And for the formula for the Shane rule, which is, which is a uh, method under calculus, we have to find the y dx, we are going to have du over dx times dy over du. This means that we need to find, uh, replace a particular entity with u so in order for us to get our du over dx. Let's take an example. If we have y equals to x plus t v all raised to power um, n, then let's uh, replace x plus theory by what by u we say that u equals to x plus um, theory so this is the major thing we need to do because whenever we have a bracket and we have a power yes majorly power that are greater than two we find it preferable to make use of shin rule yes and that is why we are going to be replacing everything in our bracket by what by u now we can now have y equals to u raised to power n okay let's take um, a good example as this one will widen our knowledge on the use of Shane rule. So let's take the first example if y equals to 2x squared plus 4 all raised to power 3 find the y dx or in other words you can be told differentiate y equals to 2x squared um, plus 4 all raised to power 3. Now we have a bracket and the power of the bracket is more than 2. Chain is defiable here. Now what we need to do is we need to replace everything in the bracket by what? By u. That is what we need to do. So let's write out the question for us. We have y equals to 2x squared plus 4 all raised to power 3. Then what are we going to replace? We are going to replace 2x squared plus 4 here as our u. We make it u. Then y will give us u raised to power 3. Now we need to remember our chain rule formula. It's very very important, we don't need to forget it. The y over dx will give us the u over dx times the y over du. So that means we need to find the u dx, then we find the y du. How do we get the u dx? The u dx is gotten from the equation connecting u and x. Right, the y du is gotten from the equation connecting y and u. So the u dx from uh, equation connecting u and x, we have two x vectors. For when you differentiate it, we're going to have two times two, that is four x plus 0 which is equal to 4x because the derivative of a constant is 0 that means if we are to differentiate 4 we are going to get 0 so there is no need of writing the 0 there then the y over the u now since we have y equals to u is power 3 the y du give us 3 u square which is approximately equal which is equal to 3 to bracket 2x square plus 4 always to power 2 that is by replacing the u back now when you multiply them together you are going to get 4x times 3 into bracket 2 x squared plus 4 always to power 2 and finally we are going to be having 12x into bracket 2x squared plus 4 raised to power 2 that's very simple and correct so this is a very simple method of getting um, our derivative using machine
So using the usage of share is very very simple. Yes, yeah, very very simple. You can try this question and an exercise um, when you are less busy. You are at to differentiate 5x raised to power 3 plus 3 squared all raised to power 4. This is also a very simple question because you can just replace your u with what is in the bracket. Now, it is good to make use of share rule whenever you have a bracket carrying a power greater than 2 because you are just going to replace everything in the power in the bracket by what? By your u.